Hello friends, thanks for coming back to join me again at Sock City Creations. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rabbit. For Easter or spring, whatever you want to use it for, this rabbit has long legs, long arms, and cute floppy ears. Don't forget to head on over to funsockcity.com to grab some socks for this fun craft. Also remember, we'll have the patterns for free on the Sock City Creations blog. The link is down below in the description box. Alright, let's get started on the rabbit. For this project, you will need a pair of socks. I have the Sockwell brand from Sock City and some polyfill, much more than this, needle and thread, and also optional is a sewing machine, buttons for eyes, scissors, and pins for pinning things as you're sewing them. Okay, to start off with, you're going to turn both of your socks wrong side out. And we're going to be making some markings on our socks and also sewing and cutting. So let me tell you what will be what. Yes, on one of the on one of your socks, this will be the body of your bunny. So it'll be sitting like this. This is going to be the front. The bottom of the foot is going to be the front. I'm doing that because there's a print on the top of the foot and I wanted to have it plain. So what we have to do first is we have to make a shape that will sit fairly well on the ground because this is going to be kind of his bottom where he's sitting and his legs are going to come out this way. So what I'll do is I'll mark kind of mimicking the heel shape over on this side. We want them to have a nice plump rump to sit on. <laughs> now when I'm sewing, I'm going to sew here. I'm going to stop about right between there. I'm not going to sew here and then I'll sew right there. Double stitch and double stitch every time you begin and end a seam so that it will be nice and strong. But the reason for this is because we want to flip it right side out and be able to stuff it and then we will sew it shut right there. So that's the main body of your rabbit. Then I'm going to make the legs of your rabbit. We're going to put two legs on here. So you have to make sure you leave enough room to sew and then cut. And we will use a little bit of this pattern right here, kind of as the toes. And then mimic that over here as closely as possible. There are your legs and there's your body. Now take the other sock and on this sock we're going to be creating ears and then the arms. So right now you can just take your scissors. If you pinch the heel, heel, there's a definite place where if you took it out, the sock would just go straight. So we're gonna just cut that right off. Then up here, we'll make our ears. So again, I'm using the fact that this has no pattern, and then pattern on the top of the foot. I'm going to use one side for the top of the ear and one side for the underneath of the ear. I don't want to make these too long because my pattern stops up at about here. So what you're going to do, this is a great line to follow because that's the center line. So I'm going to go up right next to that and do a little point right up there. And then down, then again right here, right next to that. And then make the little point. There, those are our rabbit ears. Now for his arms, let's center this because that will be a great line to use. We're going to have this be kind of his hands. This right here will be his, the tip of his hands. And then we'll curve it up over here by his arms. I think I'll leave it open up here where we're going to be attaching it to the body. 
because that would also be a great place to um, be able to turn it right side out and to stuff it. So these legs basically mirror the, or these arms basically mirror the legs. Don't forget to not sew, don't sew right here and right here because, or between these points, because that's again where we're going to be turning them right side out and stuffing them. Okay, so now if you are sewing by hand, go ahead and sew along your lines. I did not mark along there, but I will now. You don't want to sew right on that line because you need to leave space to cut between to separate those arms. Okay, you be may begin hand sewing or machine sewing. Okay, now is where you will start cutting. You want to be very careful again not to cut any seams. So first we'll do the body of the rabbit. I used black thread so it's kind of hard to see where my seams are. And now you can also turn it right side out. This is why it's really important to double stitch because there's a lot of pressure that you put on the seams for a little bit. So your rabbit will sit like this. Here's his front, there's the back. All right, and these are his legs. Right between them, carefully. This is really close right here, so have to be very careful. You can go straight across the top. That's where it will meet the body. Okay, and then let's do the ears. You can cut straight across right here where you cut the heel out. And then just follow your seams. Legs, ears, now the arms. I'll be honest, I had a hard time on the hands here. And sometimes that happens and you just go with it and it'll look fine. I may have cut my seam right there because I wasn't watching carefully. I think I did. I see my black thread right there. That could be from the sock or it could be my sewing thread. So I'm going to sew right here just to make sure I'll double stitch where I start and double stitch where I finish. So across there, just so we're sure. So if you do that, remember that's what you can do. You can just go back and go above where you cut it and below where you cut it and sew all across there, double stitching at the beginning and at the end. I fixed the arms and now what you're gonna wanna do is turn everything right side out. We already did the body. Narrow things are kind of tricky sometimes, so if you can just get it started, push a slender like pencil. You don't want it to be sharp because it will stab through. And slender like a pen or the eraser side of a pencil. So there's one arm. The ears aren't so bad, they're not as narrow. You want to get that point there, so. So use a pencil or whatever you're using to help you. Now the ears we won't be stuffing because I think little floppy ears are cute. So we're not going to be stuffing those at all. So same thing on the legs, get those started and then just use your pencil. So we'll be stuffing the body, the legs and the arms for now. You may want to hold on to your pencil, that may come in handy for stuffing through these narrower places. See how that's pretty lumpy right there, you want to make sure you get the polyfill distributed in a way that looks nice. Right, so that's one leg. You do not need to stuff it till it's out here. Leave a little space because we're going to take this and sew it to the body. So we need some space there to be able to do that. So do the legs and the arms and the body. Now in this spot right here, you want to fill it out so it makes it kind of flat right here. Because that's what he's going to be sitting on. Okay, so for me, I think this is good. He's nice and stuffed. He's got a big, nice head, little neck, and a big belly. 
then I'll just pin this shut. Some of the stuffing I had to kind of push down right here, but we can push it back so it will be more flat after we've sewn it. All right, and so now get your needle and thread ready to hand sew this. I'll be using black, or if I can find a color like this, I'll use that color. Go ahead and just stitch this closed. And you guys, this does not have to be perfect. I mean, you want it to look as nice as possible. But this is where he's gonna be sitting, okay? So, if you're not an excellent hand sewer, like I am not an excellent hand sewer, don't stress about it. The point is just to get it nice and securely shut and mostly hidden to the best of your ability. And it helps when you use a thread that will blend in. All right, so now I've closed that seam and we want to just tie it off. And then if you've seen my other videos, you know about this, shove the needle in there, push down. It can come out anywhere because you're gonna push down Snip the thread as close to the sock as possible and then let that expand. Okay. So now, push the filler back in there. You have a sock that, once it has its legs, it'll be balanced nicely. So, we're going to put the legs on here and these legs once they're attached on here will help to anchor it as well I have these two points on my sock of the heel where that seam stops I'm going to actually use those kind of as the center points of where I'm going to attach the legs all right I cut off the excess of the knot even though we're going to hide it and we're going to lock it in place I'm going to take it slow on this to make, a, make sure I have it attached nicely. Go ahead and attach both the legs using a central point to do that. For the arms, I've pinned those into place right below where the neck is, kind of where they would be on a person. But it kind of looks like a person right now. Hopefully once we add the ears, it'll look more rabbit-like. So pin those, I've pinned those in place. It's a lot easier to sew when they're pinned in place, I discovered. So pin those in place and then attach those and then we'll do the ears. Once you have the arms and legs firmly attached or securely attached, it's time to sew or attach the ears. The first thing I'm going to do is iron these because they're kind of rounded and they are not going to sit as nice. So we're gonna iron these and while you're ironing them to make your life easier tuck these raw edges in and iron it with those edges inside it's not a huge deal if these raw edges don't stay inside while you're ironing but if it can help them stay in and make your hand stitching easier why not poke out this ear just a tad more if i can now, I like floppy bunny ears, so I'm not going to be stuffing these ears. We're just going to be stitching them on, and I'll show you how to do that. I think that they look really cute if, with a little fold in them like that, and then they'll sit right on top of the head. And so, if you don't want it folded, you can leave it just like this and attach it that way without the fold, or you can do like me, and I'm gonna create the fold before we attach it. And I'm gonna start that in the middle, back here, and again, I'm locking my, seat, my thread in place. So I just put it in at that middle pinch line in there, and I'm just barely grabbing that outside fold there. And then you're gonna go right across other outside, but go through those other layers. Trying to keep them all flush this way so it will sit nicely on top of your rabbit's head. On top of my rabbit's head I have 
two points that are very symmetrically lined up. If we drew a line down the center, those two points are equidistant from that line. So I'm going to put my ears right on top of those little bumps. That's the toe of the sock. And I'm just starting it right from this thread here and putting it right into the rabbit, the top of the rabbit's head. Now that we have the ears on, the last part we need to put on is the tail and then we'll begin the face. For the tail of the bunny, we're going to take the toe of the other sock that we set aside earlier and you can gonna just cut it straight across. These socks have already a line right on them. We're gonna use this to make like a little bulb. And the first thing we're going to do, that looks like a crown. We could make Prince, Prince Bunny. All right. <laughs> first thing we're going to do is create like a little sack that will stuff. It's full enough that it's firm and no loose gaps, but not so full that you can't keep the stuffing in there when you're um, tying it onto or sewing it onto the bunny. So now for this part, just take opposite ends, bring those together. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be, this will be right on his backside right there and then tie that off when you have it closed the way you want it now decide where you want to put it I'm going to put mine kind of right on that little point right there I'm gonna put it right I guess the gathered part is just right above that so that the bottom of our little sack kind of lines up all along with the bottom of the rabbit. So that's where I'm going to put it. Get your needle and thread ready and then attach that onto there. So we're ready to put the face on there. You can do your face however you would like. Um, and I'll just show you how I do mine. I plan on putting my buttons for the eyes about right here. I'm using the, the ears as kind of a guideline for where I'm going to put my eyes. And then for the nose, I'm just penciling this in with a pencil. And then I'll go just outside of it with the thread. Heart-shaped nose. It's kind of hard to see. Try to make them as symmetrical as possible. And then we'll go over that with the thread. For the nose and the mouth, start in at the heart. We're going to be covering this right in the middle towards the bottom of the heart. This will be covered. So what you're going to do is lock your thread. You poke the needle in and then coming out just a little bit further down, pull it out. Then go back to where it was last inserted and then go down a little bit further. Still on the lines where you want to go in where you last inserted. Now I'm going off to the side because I'm starting those side. Okay, on this point, I've got to fill in that stitch right there that's missing. So I'm going to insert the needle, but this time I'm going to, I'm going to bring the needle up after that last stitch over here and we're gonna create the perimeter of the heart. All right, now for this part, we're gonna fill in the rabbit's nose. And now we'll do the eyes. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to share your creations on social media. You can use the hashtag FunSockCreations or tag us at FunSockCity. See you next time.